I start a phrase in C major. This first phrase starts on the tonic C major and stays in the tonic. Next I move from C I do F sharp G So F sharp to G is 7 to 1 in the new key of G major. So this is a way to move from C major to G major or from 1 to 5. Next I do G. So E to F sharp turns out to be 4 to 5 in a new minor key. So going from a major key, G major, to minor, to B minor. So from B minor I do the same pattern in the bass. This time, four and five will bring me to a major key. So the whole pattern serves as a way to modulate from a minor key to the major key of its third scale degree. For my next bass pattern it's actually not so important from where I come. Because here is the magic moment. So in doing F natural to E, a semitone downwards, this turns out to be 6 to 5 of a minor key. As a next thing I can do, going from A minor to G major. In that case, doing A to G turns out to be 2 to 1 in the future key. So it's going from a minor key to the key of its seventh scale degree, which means going from minor to a major key. For my last segment, I just would like to come back from G major to C major. 
So I do G, F natural, E. And I will mark G, F natural, E as 5, 4, 3 in C major. And of course, B to C as 7 to 1 of that C major tonic. So in a way, this is going from a local tonic, G major, to the key of its fourth scale degree. Of course, here, in that context, I just wanted to come back to the overall tonic. So now all the patterns in one string. Opening in C major. Modulation to G major. From G major to B minor. Oh, I like that pattern. I'll repeat it. And it brings me from B minor to D major. Now I'm up for a big surprise. Landing in A minor. Doing two to one, going to G major. Finally, going back to the initial tonic. 